In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Sector from Initial Audio after you make a purchase on PluginBoutique.com. After successfully purchasing Sector, go to My Account on PluginBoutique.com. At this point, you want to go ahead and copy the serial number. The serial number starts at Sector and ends at the end of the random characters and digits. You don't need to copy the product code colon space here. So just go ahead and copy that. From here, you want to go to initialaudio.com forward slash register. I'll leave a link to this in the video description. Here is where you want to enter that product code. Submit product code. And here it says coupon code applied successfully. If you have an account on Initial Audio, you will click here to log in. If you don't, you go ahead and set up a new account here. After entering your name, email, and creating a password, complete registration. You'll be brought to the success page and the download link here at the bottom is what you want to click now. If the product download page doesn't have any available downloads, just refresh your page and it will be populated. Here we can download from any one of these servers for whatever platform we want. I'm on Windows, I'm just going to go ahead and choose server one and hit download and let that download complete. All right, once downloaded, simply unpack the download file. Okay, once you open up the folder from the download, you'll see a bunch of different files. Here I'm going to be installing the Sector 64-bit EXE, and after that, we install the content file. So let's go ahead and do that with the 64-bit EXE. Click Next, Accept after you read the license agreement, and then choose the destination folder for the VSTs. So I'm going to browse, and I have a custom folder on my D drive, VST2, instruments. I'm going to hit OK and click Next. If you want to create a shortcut on the Start menu or on the desktop, you can leave those open or checked and just hit Install. We don't want to visit the website right now. I'm going to hit Finish. I'm going to reopen this folder and now we want to install the content. Click Next and now we can choose a destination. Now if you have room on your C drive, I suggest leaving it at its destination folder default. That way you can launch Sector and just jump right into the content. I'm going to choose a location on my D drive just because I have a small C drive. So I'm going to come into Programs. I've made a folder called Initial Audio. I'm going to choose that and click Next. And I'm going to hit Next again. Just make sure programs in the D drive, perfect. Hit install and let that installer run its course. Once completed, again, we'll have a finish. We can uncheck visit website. So now we can actually launch the standalone here. And once we launch that, it's gonna say sectors content can't be found. And that's because we've chosen a custom location. So what I'm gonna do is just hit locate the folder. I'm gonna jump into my D drive programs, initial audio, and just choose the sector folder and hit OK. And boom, here we go. If for some reason, as I have here, you don't see the demo card on sector once you launch it from the standalone, come up to the options button here in the top left and hit reset to default state. And you should see the demo card here now. All right, so now that it's open, you'll see that we're in demo mode. We want to hit activate sector. And here we have the activation code. We want to copy that. We want to jump back into Initial Audio's website. We want to go to My Serial Keys. We want to go to Sector. We want to hit Generate New Serial. And we want to make a machine name for your computer. I'm just going to write JC. And the activation code is the one we just copied from our installed version of Sector. I'm going to hit Generate Serial. I want to copy the serial here, jump back into sector, paste that serial there and hit activate and boom goes the dynamite. We now have a working copy of Initial Audio Sector Synth. To show you that it's working, I'm going to go ahead and launch Ableton Live, plugins, VST2, instruments, sector, drag and drop. I now have sector working inside of my DAW. So that's the process. I hope this video helps. There'll be a link in the video description for a full written description on how to do this if you've got lost somewhere along the way. And of course, you can always contact support at pluginboutique.com if you have a specific question.